professional friends today in this video i am going to discuss about two interesting topics what is a new provision in the companies act 2013 to file satisfaction of charge when a banker is not cooperating filing form ch4 satisfaction without banker's digital signature on the e-form. in the real life many bankers after paying the term loan by the company they are not closing the loan they are not cooperating when they they are going on dildaling and delaying it, telling that they are very busy so the company missed the deadlines and they have to pay additional fees in certain cases due to banks delay even the com- company has to go fill the form even beyond th- th- 300 days after going for condemnation of delay with the rd so these are all the unwanted things to prevent all these things in this video i am going to explain how to get the bankers uh, even uh, how to file the form cg14 with uh, satisfaction of charge even without bankers digital signature on the e form satisfaction of charge when a company borrows any secure loan from any banks or financial institution and repays the same then it is termed as satisfaction of charge thus as it is mandatory to report to roc regarding borrowing of any loans in the ch1 similarly on the repayment of loan also it is mandatory to report roc regarding the satisfaction of such charge in ch4 due date filing on ch4 form ch4 shall be filed within 30 days from the date of satisfaction of charge as per section 821 of the companies act 2013 under rule 81 of the companies registration of charges rules 2014 due to due date for the form ch4 for is 30 days within 30 days normal fee will be applicable if you are the company is not able to file the form ch4 within due date that is 30 days then it has uh, additional fees for up to 30 days it's a two times of the normal fee more than 30 days it will be four times and more than 60 days it will under 90 days it is six times and more than 90 days to 180 days it is 10 times and more than 180 days it is 12 times of the additional fees You, the company has to condemn the delay of the satisfaction of charge ch4 where any charge for ch4 is not filed within 300 days 30 days plus 270 days as per section 441 of the companies act 2013 from the date of satisfaction of charge the registrar shall not register the same unless the delay is condemned by the central government that is the, now the power has been given to regional director without condemnation of delay charge cannot be registered with the roc in such a case filing form ch4 without banker's digital signature on the e form suppose if a banker has not cooperated and uh, release the no no and has not released the noc certificate for satisfaction of charge then company has to pay additional fees within 300 days and beyond 300 days it has to go condemn the lay with the regional director in such a case what is the remedy available to the companies whose bankers are not cooperating in this act as per section 82 this is a new section com- company is eligible to file form ch4 form e and the roc will then uh, without even without the bank's uh, digital signature and in such a cases roc will then ask the banker to reply within 40 days 14 days for any objection and if no objection is received the charge will be closed by the rv the roc the charge will be satisfied by the roc even without banker's digital signature what is the new provision in the companies act 2013 to file satisfaction of charge when a banker is not cooperating amended with effect from 5th july 2018 section 82 of the companies report to satisfaction of charge a company shall give intimation to the registrar of companies in the prescribed form and the of the payment of satisfaction fully of any charge registered under this chapter within a period of 30 days from the date of such payment or satisfaction and the provision of subsection 1 of the section 77 shall as far as as far as i may be applied to the intimation given to the section subsection 2 the registrar shall on receipt of the intimation under subsection 1 cause a notice to be sent to the holder of the charge calling upon him to show cause within such time not exceeding 14 days two weeks as may be specified in such notice as to why the payment or satisfaction in full should not be recorded as intimated to the registrar and if no cause is shown by such holder of the, of the charge then the registrar shall order a memorandum of satisfaction 
shall be en entered in the register of charges kept by him under section 81 and shall inform the company that about well, that he has done so provided that no, the notice referred in this subsection shall not be required to be sent in the case the intimation to <coughs> register in this regard is in the specified form and uh, signified by the holder of the charge. If any cause, uh, cause is shown, the registrar shall record the note to that effect in the register of charges and shall form and inform the company. Nothing in this section shall be deemed to be affect the powers of the registrar to make an en entry in the register of charges under section 83 or otherwise than on receipt of the information from the company. So, friends, now companies uh, can file the charge form 4 within 30 days even if the um, uh, banker is not cooperating. We, c we cannot tell the that, uh, ROC that banker has delayed. So, when there is a delay from the bank and if the banker is not cooperating, in see, putting their signature, I have, um, I have seen so, so many banks, they are telling that we are, they are very busy, they could not offer any fine time and that's why it's a delay has been happened. In uh, If the delay is more than 300 days, then you have to go to RD. So, to avoid all these things, this section will be very helpful and if you follow these procedures, then the ROC will register your satisfaction of charges in the register of charges and that ends your head. Friends, next topic is every company has to appoint a complaint officer and to frame equal opportunity policy for transgender persons now. The Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Act 2019 and Transgender Person Protection of Rights Rules 2020 which came into effect from the 25th September 2020. Any government or private organization or establishment including in the areas of education, employment, health care, public transportation, participation in public life, sports, leisure and the recreation and the opportunity to hold public or private office. As per the act and rules, every establishment, every company is required to take the following action. Frame equal opportunity policy for transgender persons giving required details. Designate a person as the complaint officer deal with the uh, uh, complaints under the act within 30 days of the notification of the rules that is by 24 10 2020 by 24th october 2020 all the companies in india under solution they have to appoint a complaint officer for to take care of the complaint received under this section provides specified facilities to transgender persons publish equal opportunity policy and display the same including details of the complaint officer preferably on its website failing which a call con conspicuous places of these premises. So, very important amendment to the uh, this amendment. All the companies have to observe these uh, rules. They have to appoint a complaint officer and they have to publish the equal opportunity policies in their website and this is applicable to all companies in respect of private or public or listed everything. So, all the companies established in India have to observe this. Friends, thank you for watching this video. If you like like this video i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you once again arvishagar practicing company secretary